and I'm back. So it's been a little over a week since I recorded my last video post and it has been a bit of a week. As many of you may have already known or heard from Instagram or already on Yards of Happiness, my dog, my sweet share bear, passed away on Monday. Uh, it's been a little over a week. We just picked our ashes up yesterday and it's been a difficult one. Um, I decided though, about middle of last week, to pick up a project to spark a little bit of joy in my life. So I showed you guys the colors last week in my inaugural post of the piece that I wanted to use and I keep butchering the name of it. I believe it's the Soldatna Crop Top by Caitlin Hunter, Boylan Networks. Um, but here is my piece and this is how far I've gotten this far. Um, one of the things that I love is that I loved putting Cher in the color purple. And I don't think my dogs are like girly, girly pink dogs. I feel like they're little badasses that like a bit of color. And so purple was Cher's color. And this metallic purple yarn, while I've been stitching this and making it all last week, while I've been kind of grieving and mourning her has made me think of my sweet girl. So this top will probably have a little bit more significance and meaning to me once it's finished. Uh, but yes, this is all with the cotton yarn. Uh, the Cascade Sunseeker is the purple and the bright orange. Uh, the white is actually the color changing uh, Haiku uh, Abracadabra yarn. And the peach is the Barocco Weekend in DK. And I decided not to do the color work down the body on this one, just to make it a little bit lighter since this is all cotton and I'll be wearing this in the summertime. Uh, and because of this and because of how people have asked me to show more about uh, the sweaters that I wear, today I'm wearing North Fork. It's another cotton based one. Uh, and I'll also make sure to provide links in the detail section of the blog too, of the post so that you can get back to the blog and get all the details and everything I talk about. Um, but because of this, because of my kind of inspired knitting that I've been using to heal and um, take my mind off of not having share here, uh, I thought today we would talk a little bit about uh, some of the cotton yarns that I have in my stash that I've worked with and that I'm looking forward to working with. Uh, and for everyone who has asked, Jelly Bean, our other dog, is doing well. She was with us for all of Cher's doctor's appointments. She was there when Cher passed away. So I think she has some kind of understanding that she's gone. Uh, and she's been sucked to me like glue, but that's nothing new. But I think she's adjusting better than my husband and I are without bear. So, all right, so back to yarn. So let's talk a little bit about cotton. Um, I live in Maryland, right outside of DC, and to say that summer is swampy and humid is a bit of an understatement. Um, but I grew up that way. I grew up in North Carolina. I don't mind the humidity. I don't mind the heat. I like it way more than I like cold. So as I fell more and more in love with knitting, I decided I should probably fall in love with other fibers too. I don't discriminate against yarn here. You will never find that. Uh, I'm not what people call a yarn snob. I knit with everything from acrylics to really high end. It all depends on what's in my budget, what the project is, who it's going to, uh, what the an overall purpose is going to be. But I think there are some fun cottons that are out there that uh, I love to knit with, that I've worked with, and some that I've picked up uh, and have in my stash that I haven't worked with yet, but I like the feel of or the colors that are made available. So one of the ones that I'm currently wearing, uh, let's see, you can see the full top and I'll link to the post about this one as well on the blog, um, comes from one of my favorites, Barocco Modern Cotton. Uh, Barocco actually has two cotton yarns that I really like. I've worked with their uh, Barocco Pima 100, I believe is what it's called. But Modern Cotton is probably one of my favorites because I have found that some cotton blends can be a little rough on the hands or people don't like the feel and modern cotton glides this is soft it has a really great drape especially the larger you go with a needle uh, it's a worsted weight yarn um, and 
it is made of 60% Pima cotton and 40% modal rayon. So it really is soft and it washes beautifully. Uh, this piece I have often put in the washing machine on general cycle in one of those little garment bags and then let air dry. I love how this wears. I've made this piece a couple years ago. It's still colorful and vibrant, um, no pilling. I can't say enough great things about Barocco Modern Cotton. So it's also fairly affordable. So I would really say if you wanna give cotton a try, uh, if your local yarn shop doesn't uh, carry it, I know that Webbs carries it online. You can find it lots of places online. This is definitely a favorite of mine, okay? Another Barocco yarn. I'm a big Barocco lover, I am. I find them affordable and I love a lot of their colors. Barocco Remix. Uh, this is a mix of nylon, cotton, acrylic, silk, and linen. So it has an interesting feel. And I have made actually my husband a vest that I'll link to uh, that he loves because he doesn't like to be overly heated and he just kind of wanted another sharp layer that looked cool. I like the tweedy look and feel of it. Uh, it's fairly soft on the hands. It's not super rough. I actually have a sweater's quantity of this uh, and my intention is to make a Drea Maori's nurtured sweater with this so that it's kind of a cropped long sleeve that I can wear in the fall, actually all year round. Um, but I think this will be a good one for that sweater. So I'll keep you updated once I finally knit it. I've had this in my stash for a couple months now. Uh, a new to me that I am excited to try, Knit Pick Snuggle Puff. <laughs> I love the name of this. It is another worsted weight. It's, uh, well, it's a heavy worsted weight, almost Aran, and it is 70% cotton and nylon. And it's one of those that's super, super soft and squishy. I think Snuggle Puff was probably a super appropriate name for it. I think this is gonna whip up something really soft and lovely. I'm actually thinking of making uh, the Ursa sweater with this one, but either in short sleeve or crop sleeve length. Um, just because I love this soft color and I feel like it'd be really, really great on the skin. And I got to try that sweater on at Maryland Sheep and Wool. I'll pop up a photo so you can see it. And I think it would be really pretty in this mint green shade and cotton. And again, it turns it into a piece that I can essentially wear all year round. That's the great thing about cotton. You can wear it all year round. <laughs> um, especially if you're not in a crazy cold climate. We don't all live, um, in the Midwest where winters are really harsh or in Maine, somewhere like that. So for all of you who live in Florida or on the East Coast like I do, and you get all four seasons, I think cotton is a great alternative. Uh, another one, Cascade makes their Ultra Pima line and they have a rainbow of colors and it comes in multiple weights. Uh, I haven't knit with this yet. Actually, no, I have. I've knit a baby dress uh, in another skein of this in a different color. Um, this is 100% Pima cotton. I knit a baby dress in this one and I like how it washed up uh, and how saturated and beautiful the colors are. I still have a skein of this green. I think I'm actually probably gonna make a second one of these. It's gonna be shades of green. We'll see. Now, a yarn that is discontinued, but sometimes you can find online and I love, 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 and you'll see pieces that I made with this a lot, Patton's Metallic. Um, it is a tape yarn that is a blend of nylon, acrylic, and a little bit of wool. And I have made Togue Pond tanks out of this. I've made, I just made my cousin's Labria hem cardigan that I mentioned last week in this. Um, I love this yarn and I really hate that it went away because I love the pretty metallic. I love the drape of this and I love how light it is. So if you can find it online or someone selling on a Ravelry, I tell you, you should scoop it up. And then the last one that I pulled out of my stash that I am super duper 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 excited to try is um, the Concept by Katya. It is their Cotton Merino, okay? You can't see in video just how gorgeous this is. Um, it's like, it's like it has this lovely soft tube of just fluff around it. Um, I've wanted to try this yarn for a really long time, and for Christmas, my mother gave me yarn money. 
that I actually used on webs to buy it. This is 70% cotton, 30% uh, virgin wool. And I want to make the Joji Locatelli dark cloud piece with this because I think that would be such a lovely layering piece. And I just love how the black and green kind of make this multi-dimensional gorgeous color with it. Um, it's light, it's really airy. So again, it's another great kind of piece where if you don't live in a climate that's super cold, it's a lovely alternative for you to use as well. So I believe in cotton. Uh, I think you can do color work in cotton. I've proven that before. I've made um, a Guthrie sweater and a Tecumseh sweater, actually two Guthrie's and one Tecumseh sweater all in cotton. Um, and I actually did those with a lot of Barocco Weekend DK. And um, I think it just depends on the cotton, the technique. You really have to play around with your tension, what works best for you. I've realized I should probably go up a needle size just because cotton doesn't often um, give in the way that a wool would give when you're gonna block it. So you wanna make sure that your tension is smooth, but it can still be just as beautiful as a wool sweater. And you don't have to feel like you're missing out on all of that fabulous color work knitting that everyone else is doing just because you want to use cotton. So that is my shtick on cotton for this week. Um, I will take into account all the comments and things that you guys want to hear more of for my next video post. And then hopefully by the time I do another video, this will be ready to wear and I will wear this uh, in the next video so you can see how my cotton color work worked out as well. Um, definitely let me know if you have any questions. If there's something in particular that you want to see, I'd love to know. I'll try and cover it. Um, but that has been another video post of Yards of Happiness. Uh, I will make sure that I put all the details underneath this post uh, and give you a link back to Yards of Happiness where you can get direct links for everything that I discuss. Thanks for watching and have a great day.